Hi guys, welcome back to Carnage Creations. Um, tonight we're going to try our first attempt at canister Damascus. And I'm going to do two different canisters, one with ball bearings and one with chainsaw chain. So we've got the canister here, some chopped up pieces of chainsaw chain and some 1084 powder. Inside the canister I've got some used heat treat foil. So that should uh, stop it sticking to the canister, hopefully. So they tell me. And I'm going to try and lay some chainsaw chain inside. Okay, so now that we've got that sufficiently filled with chainsaw chain, this is our container full of 1084 powdered steel. So it's a high carbon knife making steel. And we're just going to spoon that in. What's your idea behind the powder? Fills in any gaps with a hardenable steel. So you end up with a Hopefully a solid billet. Hopefully a solid billet. 1084 will etch a nice dark grey black. And the various steels in the chainsaw chain will etch various different shades. We should have a really cool pattern. Hmm. Not a new technique, but it should come out awesome. And I've got a bit of a plan for the billet. What's the plan? You wait to see another video. Yeah. Anyone wondering, the disembodied voice behind the camera is Campbell. He's over visiting, and we built a gas forge for him today, so he's moving to the dark side. There it is. <clears throat> Becoming a, another smith. Dog spike spoon comes really handy. <laughs> okay, so I don't think that's going to fill any more than that. Um, so now we'll put another sheet of the heat treat foil on top and we'll weld this cap on.
So we've got the billet of ball bearing Damascus in the forge. It's been soaking for a while, getting nice and hot. And we're going to do our first press with the squaring dies on the press. Chainsaw chain billet or squeeze. of the chainsaw chain. You can see it's a nice solid weld, nice solid block of steel. Um, the can is not coming off though, so I'm just having to grind it off. So i ground a couple of sides there with the nine inch grinder. Grind these ones up and then I'll run it across the belt grinder and then we'll give it a little etch, make sure I've got rid of all the can. So sometimes you just gotta get your nine inch out and go the grind. <laughs> a quick etch to check the billet and it's looking pretty cool now it's off to Bruce Barnett's he's kindly offered us the use of his workshop which includes a power hammer forging press rolling mill all the good toys Okay, so this is the bar of ball bearing, and that's how it came out. The ball bearings are quite stretched out, but I think it's a cool pattern. But the one that came out really good, this is the bar of chainsaw chain. That is a super cool pattern.
So I've got a couple of projects planned for these two bars. Um, you'll have to just wait and see what they are, but a very cool project plan for the chainsaw chain. Thanks for watching. See you next time.